Hey guys, my name is William and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make $400 a day fixing 301 redirects and 404 status pages which are essentially broken links or a page got changed and then it needs to be redirected or it's done incorrectly. These things all affect your on-page SEO as well as your rankings. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. If you're new to the channel, my name is William Jones. I have 20 years of SEO experience. I love helping business owners like yourself achieve the rankings they need and deserve. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe below, turn on the bell icon so you don't miss anything. We generally have all types of SEOs on here, anything from such as myself, Chris Palmer, Holly Starks, um, you know, Mike Merlino, Brent Bowles, or Patrick, Jesper, the list goes on and on and on. So you don't want to miss any of that. Make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So today what we're going to do, there's a couple of tools I use, right? Um, you can find them in the link below, but one of which is the website auditor. The website auditor, you can get this from, if you will, um, I'll show you. But it's linkassistant. Right? Linkassistant. Link Assistant is an all-in-one platform, right, where you can basically run an audit and it tells you everything that is wrong with a website, right? That's step one. All right. The next step we're gonna take. I have a lot of people come at me and say, hey, I want an audit. So we're going to go over a couple of free audits. Let's, let's just grab this one. Um, see a couple of them here. All right, let's grab that one. And I'm going to show you guys how we run an audit. It's basically pretty much an automation. Hit new. And we drop in the link. Hit finish. And it's going to run an audit for me. This audit will then be in a PDF in which I can send over to a client and basically say, hey, here's what's wrong with your website. Here's what we need to do to fix it and list out all the tasks to fix it and everything. We're going to fix it. And then once we fix it, you know, they're going to love us and everything. And then they're going to probably want to do full on, you know, SEO with us. Generally speaking, how I get clients is I wind up, you know, getting clients through doing audits, really. I do a free audit for them, tell them, okay, you need to fix this or fix that. And they get upset and then like, you know, oh my God, I can't believe it. My site sucks. And then they come to you and say, can you help me? You know, and generally what I'll do is I'll find, you know, five or six things on this audit that I can fix for them like that. Right. And it's running the audit right now. Once it's done running the audit, I'm going to show you, I'll find five or six things at minimum I can go and I'll fix. And by fixing them, you know, let's say we take, in this case, 301 redirects. So 301 redirect, you build, a, you build a website or they build the website. And what happens is you have a page and you no longer have the page. You, know, you And most of the time people just delete stuff and they shouldn't just delete it, right? So what happens, you deleted it, but it's still in the SERPs or the search engine ranking results, right? And then what happens is you delete it, still in the SERPs, and someone clicks on it and they come to a 404 redirect, which says, oops, you know, that page is not here. Or a 301 redirect, and it's redirected to the wrong page, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to properly handle 404s and 301 redirects. A lot of people do it incorrectly. And what they do is they simply go on the back end of WordPress and then they go, you know, for instance, what are some WordPress plugins for redirects? And that's what they do. They go get freaking redirect plugin, they add the plugin, and then it's not fixed. And then once they're done, let's take a look at this report, see if we got anything here. So it's got 34 issues. And what do you know? We have resources with 400 status code. So we want to get that fixed. We have a 301 redirect. We got empty alt text. We got empty meta description, right? I can then take this report, get the details, and I can publish it, save it, email it to them, and they'll love me. So if I come through this report, it tells me exactly where my 404 redirects are at, which are this stuff right here, right? And we want to fix that. So we now have all this information. We go in here and we fix it. There's a really cool tool I like to use and I'm going to give you an example. Now that we got this report and everything, I'll give you an actual live example. So let's say we have, for instance, one of the tools I like is called Zagio. 
Zagio, I take this plugin, I install it on a website, and now not only can I, if you will, and I'm going to show you this, I can not only, if you will, manage my 301 redirects, right? You see it right here. I can manage my 301 redirects so I know where pages are being redirected to. I've deleted the page. Now where am I going to redirect it? If it's a broken page, where am I going to redirect it? Because what you should do is if you get a broken page, you recreate that page that you are, if you were wanting to get rid of, or you redirect it to the page you want it to go to. You don't just leave it blank or just send it to the home page, which is what most people do, right? So Zagio, if I come over here and 301 redirect, I put in some broken links just so y'all could see it and get an idea. You have the 301 redirects, it monitors it, it loads it, it's telling me which ones are 301 redirects, and then it tells me which ones are 404s. So these 404s have all been redirected, right? So that's the first thing. Let's say you had a page and you had it as a blog and you delete it, or you edit the URL even. Let's say the original URL was called, you know, rankfortress.com forward slash we're the best thing on planet Earth, just for an example. And I change that, you know, then what I don't need to do, it's already in the SERPs. So when someone goes, looks in the SERPs and they see it, they're like, oh my God, you know, the rankings are there. You're in the SERPs, but then you change the URL structure and Google doesn't know that. So what happens when someone clicks on that search result and clicks on it, it comes up as a 404 broken link, right? And give you an example of this. If we go to, let's say this page right here, you'll get what we call a 404 broken link. This is a 404, the page doesn't exist. So where should I be sending this to? You need to recreate this page and send it to the proper page. The 301 redirect, the same thing. And believe it or not, people will pay you to actually fix their on-page technical SEO issues. Why? Because fixing all of those little issues that you may see, this in this case, this is not many, this is only 34 issues, but in many cases, it's thousands of issues in which they'll, they'll wind up, you come in and say, hey, I'll just fix this for free. And then they said, well, if you do that for free, how much would you charge to do the rest of it? So it's a quick way to make $400 a day by just simply fixing their on-page SEO issues. Once again, the tools I use were Link Assistant, which you can see here. Um, check in the description below. And then I also use a Zagio to take a look and maintain and monitor our 404s and our 301 redirects. Um, Zagio does many other things, such as rank tracking, backups, and helps you avoid, if you will, um, attacks on your website or if your or if your website gets hacked you have backups there's tons of other stuff as Azure does is pretty much an all-in-one replacement um, but I'll be doing some more videos on that later but today we specifically wanted to talk about 301 redirects as well as 404s and how to make money fixing one page SEO audits so that's what you need to do don't go out and simply get a WordPress plugin this is what people do they come in here and they go to plugins and I'll show you you literally go into plugins and type in, you know, for instance, I want to add a new plugin. And this is what they do. They go, you know, 404, you know, and they type in or 301 redirect. And they just get a, a plugin for everything, a plugin for everything. And then they bog down their site and they wonder why it's going so damn slow. So don't do that. Don't do what the amateurs do. And uh, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe below. And that's all for today. Tune in again and we'll have more SEO golden nuggets for you. Appreciate you guys. You guys be blessed. Have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitch and they cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners.